Hello, everyone. Welcome to the channel, the Scientific Piano Teacher. My name is Fanny. Today, we are going to start a new series, which is ornaments. I guess a lot of you find ornaments pretty confusing because there's a lot of different type of ornaments as well as different types of playing. So today we are going to start with this one, which is the most common one, I think, which is called the trill. Trills or shake. It is an alternation between two adjacent notes, quickly played back and forth for at least four notes. As you can see on this slide, I have put a three on the left that refers to the long trills. And one notation on the right that refer to short trill. The first one and the second one, I mean the top and the bottom left on the long trill side, which is a very common uh, notation marking that we can find pretty frequently on our score. And uh, the one on the right that I refer to short trill, but some of you might call it as a modern. Um, however, in Baroque times, we don't call this a modern or a inverted or modern, but we call it as a type of trills. In Baroque and classical eras, the way that we play the trio is to start with its upper labor loop. So in this example, in case, let's say it is in treble clef a E, that means we should start on the F and we alternate between F and E back and forth again, a, at least a minimum of four notes. One note is that for any trio in different periods, we should start on the beat. So the second type refers to the trio that we normally do with after the late classical era is when we see the trio we normally play on the main note and we play as quick as possible. So in a lot of Chopin pieces, we will play the trio on this main note and as quick as possible, except there are times that his music or his previous note of the trio is the same note, then we might want to play that note higher or lower. Sometimes he would give such suggestions on how to play it or especially the later composer, they would give us the very clear suggestion about how to play his their trios. The last thing about trio that I want to talk about is this line that sometimes you will see a flat, a sharp, or a lateral side above the trio. It actually refers to the upper label note. Whether you play the upper label note first or the main note first, the this side is related to the upper level note only. So say um, now this is in a bass calf, that's a G. So with the, tri with the flat on above the trio, that means we are playing A flat. Um, that is the upper level note will be the A flat. With the sharp, it means the A sharp will be the upper level note. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this short introduction about trio. Again, there's are many other ways to play the trio, but for me, the most confusing way confusing about trio is sometimes I when I have to play pieces from Baroque period or from the late classical period, and they are different. So again, I hope you enjoy it, and please subscribe to our channel and like this video if you like it, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and our website. See you again next time. Bye-bye.